Um, I thought in the areas that uh, we expected uh, Georgia to come at us, um, we went very, very well. That was a set piece, obviously, the scrum and the driven line out, and we didn't concede there. So uh, look, I thought the work that uh, went in during the week paid dividends, and uh, David, uh, sorry, John Humphreys uh, and the boys um, did very well at scrum, and um, that was pleasing to see, obviously. What, um, what are the things you need to work on, do you think, for next week? Uh, some fine weather would be nice, but look, it was, <clears throat> I'm not sure what it looked like, but uh, certainly here in the venue, it was very, uh, very wet, um, very wet underfoot, very slippery ball and, uh, and a little bit of a, a breeze out there as well. So it wasn't the best conditions to, to move ball in. We tried to at times, um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was very difficult. But to come away with, with a win, uh, in particular for the young guys that, that got a start and, uh, uh, and Yan Yeo and... Uh, coming off the bench, uh, Johan Lloyd, and then um, uh, Callum Sheedy having his first start. I thought uh, those boys all uh, contributed well. So, look, um, in terms of the depth in the squad, I think um, we've we've seen some players there play for the first time and um, play reasonably well. So, from that point of view, it was pleasing. Um, we'll review that game, obviously, and look at what we do for next week. So how many of those guys do you think have put their hands up for selection because you made 13 changes for this match? Yeah, look, we'll review the game first and foremost, but just, you know, on reflection straight after the match, talking to a couple in the change room, you know, someone like a, a Johnny Williams is very excited. I think he's, he's, he was very pleased with his performance and I think in the conditions he did well. So, um, look, there were, there were some good performances, um, plenty of work on. It was far from perfect, but uh, a step in the right direction for those guys that uh, got the opportunity. How is Justin Tipperick after what seemed a bit of a, a very severe head knock? Um, how is he? Do you think he could he could be ready for next week, or is it a bit soon with all the concussion protocols you go through now? But I've just seen him in the corridor, and he's uh, he's chatting away. Um, look, it was uh, an incident which um, I thought uh, warranted probably a little bit more than a, a yellow card, just on the camera angles that we had, but. Uh, whether or not everyone had those camera angles, but um, certainly looked looked a nasty uh, nasty forearm to the to the face. So uh, yeah, unfortunately it, it put paid to Justin for the rest of the match. And in terms of the back row options, uh, Falat uh, Tulupe Falatau and Josh Navidi, would you say they might be eligible for next Saturday against what is going to be a very strong England side in that breakdown area? Yeah, look, um, Tulupe will be uh, will be fine. He's um, he trained on Thursday after having the first part of the week off, and uh, he did some running. Sorry, and uh, look, he's on track to be available. Um, Josh, we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, hopefully, he will be. And uh, you know, as I say, we'll review the game, the performances of the, of the other boys that played today. Final one for me, Wayne. How are you feeling? You've got that win, first one since February. How are you feeling in yourself? Oh, look, you know, it's, it's about the. the the players for me, it's a, it's a matter of believing in what we're doing and continuing to go down the path that we've set for ourselves. And, you know, I'm pleased that the team with 13 changes got out there and, and got a result. As I say, uh, at, at the venue here, it's very, very tricky conditions. So it was hard for both teams to play a lot of rugby, but, uh, you know, you, with the strengths that they bring and the conditions, I thought um, it was very pleasing to, uh, to nullify the, the line out drive and also the scrum. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Hi Wayne, Beth ITV, you're right. Um, how impressed were you with your ball, ball carrying tonight? We know that it's the heart of what rugby matches are about and it seemed to have been improved a bit today. Yeah, look, I think across the board we, we took a step in the right direction. Um, yeah, there was guys trying to take the ball in motion and, and use a bit of footwork and I think uh, at times we did that and we were able to get in behind them and get some quick ball, I think, on, on a drier day um, with the dents that we got. I think um, we would have been a lot more dangerous. I just talk about some of the old heads coming on, linking up with the new ones. How, how pleased were you that there's, there's some sort of kind of links going on already in your team? Oh, look, we, we see it in training. We have done for some time. It's just it's finding the right time to give these guys an opportunity. Today, uh, obviously, we chose to give a few of them a go. And, and I think, um, by and large, they, uh, they did very well. So we're just going to have a look now. It's, uh, England is obviously a totally different proposition. So um, <clears throat> we'll review the game, as I said, and, and we'll make a selection based on... Um, on, on putting a side out that we think that can get the job done. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Wayne. It's Matt Southcombe here. Um, I just wanted to ask about Liam Williams, um, the most experienced player in that starting back line. He was very vocal. You could hear him up here talking all the time, trying to organise people. Just a word on how he sort of marshaled that, that young back line tonight. Yeah, look, he relished the opportunity to play at fullback, firstly, and then um, to get out with the young guys. Uh, look, he was uh, always going to have a lot to say. It was part of his role. 
Um, he found it difficult, uh, obviously, when he, he, he took the uh, a boot to the mouth. So he's got about 15 stitches in his lip, but he'll be fine. But uh, certainly he's a little bit sore at the moment, but um, not quite saying as much as he was on the pitch. And just a little bit more on Johnny Williams. He seemed to be have one remit tonight, which was to, to run hard and, and run straight and, and set a focal point for the back line. How pleased were you with his performance, you know, particularly looking forward to making him an option for next week? Yeah, look, I think um, before we could go wide tonight in the conditions, we had to get some go forward. And Johnny had uh, was one of the people that had a role to play there. And, and I thought he did a very good job. Um, certainly he was excited going into the game and <clears throat> he was excited in the change rooms I mentioned earlier after the game. So he thoroughly enjoyed it and enjoyed the workload. And I thought um, by and large, he, he did a good job. After the, the Island game, there was a lot of call for, for changes to come in. You made 13 tonight, gave a lot of people opportunities. And, and now they, they, there's a bit of criticism that perhaps there wasn't the fluidity in the performance. Now, obviously, we can all see here that it was a difficult night to play rugby. But do you feel sometimes that you can't win with these things? Like you, you give them the changes and perhaps something else goes? I mean, what more can you do? Oh, look, <clears throat> from our point of view, it's just um, heads down and, and working hard. And uh, that's what these guys are doing. And, you know, if people were at the game, they'd appreciate how difficult it was. But certainly, uh, as I said earlier, it was a step in the right direction. The set piece hasn't really functioned that well in the last two games. And it's been a real problem for us. And tonight, it, it worked a, lo a lot better. So, and given the conditions, given the opposition in those conditions, I thought um, we ground out a result and uh, we move on to the next game. And just finally from me, Aaron Wainwright, man of the match tonight at number eight. Do you think he's got a, a long-term future in that position? Well, I personally like him at eight. I prefer him at eight than six. Um, I think he gets his hands on the ball and attack more. Um, he's got very good acceleration out of the boot. and You, you, you saw some of those skills tonight. Um, so, yeah, look, personally, I, I like him in that position. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you. Hi, Wayne. Just one. I, I don't suppose you've had a chance to see the England game beforehand, but the match stats massively in Ireland's favour in terms of territory possession, metres made, everything. But the England defence was incredibly strong. Did you see anything tonight that makes you think you've got the tools in another potentially wet West Wales day next week to get through that England defence? Yeah, you're right. I, I haven't seen the game. Um, obviously, we're preparing for our game. So uh, we'll obviously review that, um, preview England and look at it. But, uh, you know, they've, they've got a solid result. I don't even know the final score, to be honest. But, um, uh, look, they're up 18 nil at one stage, obviously playing well enough in the conditions uh, to get a result. So, look, they're a formidable side. They've got uh, a lot of talent. Um, they're a big side. So they're going to be a challenge. They're going to be a handful. So for us, it's... Uh, yeah, look, we, we need to take the positives out of this performance tonight, which was a set piece. And uh, I think if we can build on that, uh, we'll need to up against uh, an England side that did well last week in that area as well. Thanks. Thank you. Guys, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much.